thank you. Um, I'm really not sure if I actually say it enough, but um, all of you watching and subscribing and commenting, um, it's because of you that I am still able to do this for so long and I love doing it so much. So like I, uh, I really do owe it to you guys. Hey guys, if you love my videos, please subscribe. It helps me a lot more than you think. And today we're drawing the awesome life of Dennis. Dennis is one of the biggest Roblox YouTubers in the community. He has a massive subscriber base of 8.9 million subscribers. In this video, we're covering the whole story of Dennis, from his childhood to his massive YouTube success. So let's go right into the video. Dennis Kapotin was born on June 5th, 1996, which makes him 24 years old. He was born in Canada in Edmonton, Alberta. He has an elder brother who's two years older than him. Their parents were immigrants from Russia. When Dennis was roughly three years old, their family moved to Nashville, Tennessee. He and his brother joined a preschool in Tennessee and their parents worked really hard to make ends meet. However, they stay in Tennessee was not for long. When he was four years old, they again moved back to Canada, this time Winnipeg. This is because Dennis's dad got a professional job in Winnipeg, which was great for the income. So their life started again in Canada, which is the earliest memories of Dennis. In his school days, Dennis was very creative. He used to draw and create comics. His school even kept his comic books for students to read. During those times, his brother got a computer and he used to play games in that. Well, Dennis got to play mini games on his brother's computer. As they got obsessed with video games, they started playing together. In fact, Dennis really liked gaming, then he thought he wanted to become a game developer. At his school, Dennis had a best friend and some other friends who were like-minded. They weren't the popular kids in school, they were quiet and did their own thing. Even though Dennis had this idea of becoming cool and being accepted by everyone, he couldn't do anything about it. They really just kept things to themselves and stayed away from any attention. At the same time, his creativity did get him the attention he always wanted. Dennis has said that the video projects that they had to do as their schoolwork were his best form of creativity in those days. Kids used to enjoy his videos a lot, and he did get a lot of appreciation for his works. Dennis always loved the claps and the feeling of being the center of attention. And then high school happened. For his high school, he was moved from his public school to a private school, and he lost all his friends. The new school felt challenging for him with all the new faces. It was a true out of his comfort zone experience for him. But then he realized that since nobody knows him, he can actually become a new person here. He didn't have to be a shy guy who wasn't social. He can be someone who he wanted to be. Dennis used this opportunity to become a better individual. He started becoming more of an active person, and he was loving it. Around this time, he used to watch a lot of YouTube videos, and he wanted to have a YouTube channel for himself. In a way, the new school environment helped him to gain the confidence to start one. On July 23, 2011, he made his first ever YouTube video. Dennis was 15 years old then. His video was a Minecraft Let's Play gameplay video, and he got like very little views like 20 to 50 views. But as he uploaded again and again, Dennis saw that there were some consistent viewers for his videos. Dennis also met a small community of people who were starting out in gaming videos on YouTube. The buddies YouTubers, we can say. He met his friend Fletch like this, who is still one of his best friends. Many others like Coral, Sam, Gent, all of them became friends during this time. After a year, Dennis saw that his channel's not growing as it should. This frustrated him and he stopped making videos. That was really difficult for him. However, more difficult things were happening in his personal life. His parents got divorced and his mom moved out. Dennis's dad got married again and he got a stepmom. The stepmom and her son moved in with Dennis and his dad. It was all quick and so much to take in for Dennis. It wasn't like the new members were bad with him, but it took time for him to adjust with them. Even though it took a while, eventually he got used to the new family. Dennis used to visit his mom also regularly. All these events distracted him mentally and he was not in a good place to begin with. Soon, Dennis was 18 years old and he had to decide on his higher studies. He knew that his YouTube career is over and he wanted to do something else. Dennis had taken training and programming and he was good with Photoshop and stuff. So when he applied for a programming degree, he got admission in the British Columbia School. Dennis moved out of his home for the first time in his life. It was tough and exciting. A lot of things were new for him. He joined the school and started out with his degree. 
Dennis got his first serious girlfriend there. However, he was not doing great with his studies. Dennis was so much into video games and he had a girlfriend which all took his time and distracted from his studies. Within the first year, he realized that this degree was not for him. He did very bad in the exams and barely passed for the next year. On that summer, when he went for the year break, Dennis started to think about giving YouTube a second shot. So, Dennis, together with Coral and Fletch, made a YouTube video as a start. This was in August of 2015. They uploaded that video and went on with their lives. As the second year started, Dennis and his girlfriend broke up. This was hard for him, as he didn't have much friends as well. Slowly, Dennis got used to his new reality and something big happened. Out of nowhere, the new video that he made with his friends got a lot of views. Almost 500,000 views for that video. And people started asking for more. That's when Dennis decided to do this again with all his effort. He teamed up with Coral, Fletch, Sketch, and Sub to the group The Pals. The Pals group was already having a channel, started in 2013. They've been putting out videos regularly and Dennis became a part of it. They were mainly dealing with Minecraft gameplay videos and slowly moved to Roblox videos. As they uploaded regularly and Dennis got more into the YouTube game, he started his own YouTube channel simultaneously. It was in March 2016 and he uploaded his first video by April 2016. Dennis started with Roblox videos. His face was already familiar to his audience and he knew how YouTube works. He was very consistent. For a start, Dennis uploaded once in every two or three days. Slowly, it became everything. Why, yes, guys, you guessed it. We're playing Horse World Roleplay in Roblox. Because why wouldn't we? Look at these horses. You got tiger horses, some normal horses, you a horse with wings. Kind of seems like cheating. Yeah, you heard that right. He started uploading every day, and he's been unbelievably consistent since 2016. Till date, his schedule is every day a new video. For the initial years, he played mainly Roblox, then he played many other random games. He also played Minecraft for a while. When Fortnite was a thing, Dennis played a lot of Fortnite videos. And now he's back to Roblox again. We know Roblox is on its peak now. Basically, Dennis is doing what the audience wants. He acts as per the pulse of his audience and has been tremendously successful in doing so. His channel's reached 8.9 million subscribers. Dennis is really one of those who achieve from their bad situations. He never really let him down when life was becoming tough. He gently pushed forward, took his time, and came back each time. And that's how he wants all of his fans to face their lives. Be easy on yourself and work towards what you want.